In this video, we're going to unbox the Moyu Super R3M 2022 Maglev. Let's go! So today we got a package from QTK of the R3M 2022 Maglev. But yeah, this is my first ever owned one. I did make a video before, but that wasn't mine. So this is my first ever one that I actually own. So let's move on to the unboxing. The box is surprisingly small. I, I don't really expect this, but let's go ahead and unbox it real quick. So inside the box we get three items. First is the Moju cube stand. Second is the tools box, which I think is the same as everything else. First of all, it has uh, spare tensioning parts, and also there is this tensioning tool for the spring system, and then there is the sc Moju screwdriver, the classic one. And there is just the pan flip of how to solve the cube and also a cube stand that we did not even get from the box. So moving on to the cube. Okay, so the cube feels like it's really similar to the standard version. Uh, so yeah, the color shades are the same. I think, yeah, it is in purple internals. Yeah, let's do first turns. God damn. I really like this. For some reason, this is way better than the standard version. Uh, it's you can tell that it's way faster because it's maglev. Um, and also, I don't know why, but the corner cutting is better on this one. God, I mean it is tight, but the corner cut is way better. Except for reverse corner cutting, we have to work on that one. Let's check out the springs, I guess. So in here, we see the classic purple tensioning system. It is now on the lowest setting, and yeah. I really like this setting, honestly. But the cube is really dry, I think. Yeah, I think it needs lubing and also tensioning, because it's just so tight. I have to loosen it a bit later. So let's get to it now. Yeah, so now the cube is vaguely tensioned. I didn't really tension it that much, but it already feels way better because of the loop. And also the corner cutting, I think it's better. But yeah, I'm going to solve this cube and talk about the color shades. So yeah, I think the color shades look really nice. It looks almost like the same as the sander, obviously. But it's really vibrant and also the surface is really matte, which I kind of like. It will slowly wear down, but yeah, it's pretty nice to have it for a while. But yeah, let's move on to the solves. So I did some solves with the cube. I find the cube a bit too fast, so I slowed it down with some Lubus Pro. And also I tensioned the settings to the tightest setting. And now the cube feels a lot smoother and controllable. I also think that the magnets are really strong as well. They really make the cube more controllable, I guess. And also, yeah, I think the cube is a lot more richer than before. And also the cube has this really good purple internals inside, which is really nice. I really love purple internals. In terms of the solves, I've been getting around my usual average about 13 to 17 seconds i know that's a big gap but yeah yeah the cube performs pretty good i just have to like turn really gentle to do it so that's the one problem comparing it to the rs3m it definitely has less good corner cutting which is a downside to the cube and yeah at the rs3m i think it's because that i've set it up and stuff for years so that's why it's performing that well but I think it's always because of the corner cutting that's pulling this cube down but yeah that's all I really have to say for this cube this cube costs about 12 pounds 99 pence and I think this is really worth it for beginners yeah this is a really nice cube I really recommend it and that's all I really have to say yeah please like share and subscribe and leave a comment if you like the video or not so yeah, I'll see you next time. Stop what Bye. you're doing and listen.